2008 rides in until the picture that would change his career is leaked online. His photos started flowing around the internet and it was of him in this uniform in some type of ceremony. Um, and there was a lot of rumor going around that he was a cop. We were just shocked. I figured like somebody was really nice on the Photoshop game and, and flipped a young Ross into a, a policeman's outfit. The fire surrounding the controversy simmered down by the end of the year as Ross started work on his next album, Deeper Than Rap. But virtually no one expected this. I love to pay your bills, can't wait to pay your rent. Baby mama I ain't asking for a cent. Burn the house down, you gotta buy another. Don't forget the gas can, jealous stupid. The first time that I heard Mafia music, I was kind of taken aback. I was surprised. I'm like, oh. Oh my goodness, like he's actually going that thing. Because in my mind, I'm like, he's not going that thing. Not to be played with, 50 Cent released Officer Ricky, Go Ahead and Try Me. The beef between Rick Ross and 50 Cent is in full bloom. I think that Rick Ross 50 Cent beef came absolutely out of nowhere. And you're like, whoa, what did 50 do? Rick Ross addressed that very same question, along with a lot of other pressing issues surrounding this beef when he sat down for this intense one-on-one. -on -one. This is where it gets deeper than rap. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting down having a boss-to-boss -boss conversation, my man Rick Ross. Good believe, to see you, brother. Believe that, homie. Thank you for taking the time out to chop it up with your brother. Likewise. Just three years. You've been really on on the on the f the front front page of the hip hop scene. Is this where you thought you would be in, in, in the amount of success that you would have three years in? Well, I can't say that. You know, I predicted. You know what I mean? I'd be this this large. But you know, at the same time, I was always a big dreamer. Right. I was always thinking big. So I knew I knew this was the possibilities and this is what I was grinding for. So, you know, it all paid off. And there's a saying that been coined many a time, more right. money, more problems. Right. In summer of 2008, uh, some pictures turned up uh, of, of you online right. uh, or of a person that looks like you online who's working as a correctional officer. Uh, is that or is that not Rick Ross in those pictures? That was me in the photos. Okay. Most definitely. Is there an explanation? Most definitely. <laughs> and the reason, you know, when, when rumors surfaced, I felt like me going to a radio station giving a yes or no answer wouldn't be a clear depiction of the situation. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, since I was a young kid, man, you know, um, I ran with a team. I was politely asked to um, take a position. And most definitely it was a position that I didn't want to take mm -hmm. because I was living a whole nother lifestyle. But it was something that the team asked me to do. Okay. They gave me a little time period for me to make a few moves. I can't go into why I did it. I can't go into what was happening. I didn't understand it at first neither. But after a few months I did. And, you know, and um, you know, the day I was through, you know, with my duty, I walked out. Rumor has it. Right. That the pictures were released by Trick Daddy, former label mate. Is there any truth to that? Do you have any idea where they came from? Does it matter where they came from? No, most definitely it didn't matter. You know what I mean? A fact is a fact. So it, it was irrelevant at that time. Mm -hmm. But when the Trick Daddy speculations came up, I most definitely, you know, I was on tour. So I gave him a call just gangster to gangster. You know what I mean? I, I want to check your temperature. Right. You know what I mean? And I know Trick Daddy, if he did do it, he wouldn't tell me he would. You know what I mean? He know what would come of that. You know what I mean? So most definitely he denied it, and, and I respected it. Cool. I get at you, all. So what's the current status of y'all relationship at this point? Um, I'm always focused on getting money. You know what I mean? I most definitely put on the table whatever his situation was as far as business. Maybach Music would love to um, sign him. You know, as far as personal, ain't no personal. Lots of people see this as a threat to your credibility as an artist. Do you? Of course not. I think people just need to open their mind up into what really is a hustle and what surviving is about. Mm -hmm. And now, now that I look back on it, I really thank the OG for asking me to do that because I look at it like he saved my life. All my other homies, you know, that, that I ball with, you know, got a dime, 15, or elbow better, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm grateful for having that third eye 
I'm grateful for having that hindsight. So now that's the maturity that I put in my music. Now don't get it twisted. I've been cut though. That's what I come from. Right. That's what I always seen. And I ain't got no problems with that arising. Right. But at the same time, I want to be better. That's what I try to present more to the people than a darker side of me. Because it's most definitely two and three sides to every G. This is what I mean by real conversation. This is Deeper Than Rap with Rick Ross, and we'll be right back. I just wanted to have a few words with him. And when I seen him, I, he, he expressed like he was in fear. And he, he broke off his, you know, his line of direction and kept going. <laughs> 